MGTOW warning. MGTOW warning, this is women. Learn how to give a blowjob proper, followed by the proper sandwich. You're my right hand, you're my go-to. Tell me everything about you, that's a bold move. Hey guys, good morning. This is John, your MGTOW host on a work -a vacation. <laughs> I'm off doing some training and I'm up extra early and I wanted to get this video out to you guys. Um, I was outsourcing. I was uh, I was gigging the domestic duties out. I was at a store buying a sandwich. <laughs> I went to the deli. I said, hey, woman there, make me a sandwich. And I'm polite, so I said, please. This is exactly how I want it. And when I do that, I get the sandwich exactly the way I want it, with a smile, and a thank you exactly the way I want it. And for a lot less money and a lot less headache than it would be to have a woman make me a sandwich. God bless the gig economy. All right. So while I was waiting for my sandwich, I walked over to the magazine rack and I said, you know, self, you haven't seen a magazine rack in quite some time. Go take a look, see what's on the newsstand. Remember those words like magazine rack and newsstand? That's some old school technology there. Basically a shelf that displays the cover of the book instead of the binding. <laughs> Anyways, I go over there and there's Cosmopolitan magazine. Right? The, the frustrating magazine that boys who grew into teenagers who grew into men have to put up with at the checkout stand. Well, here it was over on the, the magazine rack. And I thought, okay. I'm going to read the cover for the highlights. I'm going to see where we're at socially. And uh, much to my surprise, I was not surprised. On the cover of it was Miley Cyrus. That's right, the daughter of the uh, <clears throat> mullet-toting, country-singing star, right? Who got his daughter into this stuff, and she's turned into quite a whore. Anyways, enough on Miley Cyrus, right? Um, it says on the cover of it, really the biggest letters I think I've ever seen other than the word cosmopolitan, it says, sex your way. And then it says, kisses, touches, and positions to satisfy your body. Get it, girl. Right? And then if you look just a little bit lower, I've got my laptop. I've actually got the picture on my laptop. It's got a big pink question mark. And it says, how to tell if love will last. And I just started laughing out loud in the store. I, I stepped back. I took a picture of the, the cover. Right, because I wanted to remember it. I wanted to do this video. Right. And over on the right side, it's got a... Uh, emoticon little yellow smiley face blowing a big pink bubble and it says my gum got stuck in his junk hilarious tales of sex gone wrong so between those three things I thought this is fabulous this is exactly what the world needs more of right isn't this just fucking killer the way these women think right uh, kisses, touches, and positions to satisfy your body. You see, it's all about women now. I remember years ago what to do to get his attention, how to please your man, seven things to try in bed to satisfy him. It used to be about your partner, you know, your, your, your uh, girlfriend boyfriend relationship, your um, uh, betrothal, what do you call it? engagement. All of those things were about satisfying each other. But somewhere along the way, women forgot that there's another partner in this that they have to take care of. And so they have completely fucking blown it. Women have totally blown it. They were supposed to be 50%. Now we know as men that they're not 50%. They're probably 20%. We're hauling the fucking load, in other words. Right? We deliver the fucking mail, they're along for the ride. But in exchange for doing the heavy lifting, 
women were supposed to support us more, i.e. sandwiches and sex. Kisses, touches, and positions to satisfy your body. Get it, girl. Cosmopolitan. I mean, what, what's, the, what's the magazine's name indicate? Well, it, it indicates that it's about Cosmo girls. That is, sophisticated, city-like girls. Girls of the world. Modern women. And that is the feminist. See, it's not about you. It's never about you. It really never has been. Because they want to be satisfied first. They want to make sure they get their stuff first. These women out here. And where I'm at now, you know, I went to a restaurant with my son last night. It was amazing watching the spectacle of stupid going on. Amazing. Anyways, back to this. Kisses, touches, and positions to satisfy your body. So, she wants her body satisfied, so they're talking about kisses. So, the girl's going to tell the guy where to put his kisses to satisfy her body? Or is she going to kiss her own body? Touches to satisfy your body. Get it, girl. So, yeah, she can touch herself and she can have him touch her how she wants. And then, of course, positions. Right? It's all about her. Her, her, her. But what cracks me up is how to tell if love will last. If a woman's in love with herself, and only herself, and has no care for anyone else in the relationship, is that love? No, it's not. It's not going to last. Why do relationships fail? Because women are worried about themselves and their positions and their kisses and their touches and what satisfies their body. This magazine is completely illustrative of the world we live in, of why it's so fucked up. How to tell if love will last? I can tell you how. If you're a greedy, gold-digging, selfish who only cares about yourself and doesn't really understand the principles of love and responsibility and shared responsibility, then your love isn't going to last longer than the hormones that are racing through your body as you think to get in his pants and in his wallet, right? Love is not going to last. How to tell? If you read this magazine, your love will not last. That's how to tell. And then over here on the right, my gum got stuck in his junk. I'm going to assume that that means in, in his pubes because getting a piece of gum jammed up a guy's dick is a little tricky, I bet. Anyways, um, once again, if a woman's got a mouthful of gum and she wants to give you a BJ, what's she doing? Does she want double mint fresh breath or does she want to give you a fucking blowjob? This just goes to the uh, care that a woman gives, right? Men are thought to be kind of brutish, kind of careless, kind of ridiculous, right? But women are supposed to be smart, sophisticated. Oh, dare I say cosmopolitan? <laughs> Yeah, they're supposed to be, but they're getting their gum stuck in his junk and other hilarious sex bloopers or some bullshit like that here on the cover. What's important to note, though, is that this is where it's going, right there. And I will use this picture as a thumbnail for the video. And I don't think Cosmo will have too much trouble with it. They may, but who cares, right? Um... This is the type of crap we're dealing with. As MGTOW, men going their own way. You've got to see these women for what they truly are. You know, the magazine, Cosmopolitan, is supposed to be teaching about sophistication, right? proper etiquette. Now, and it has been for a long time, but I haven't looked at it in a long time, it's just about selfishness. It's about everyone oogling over you if you're the woman right it's it it blew me away when i saw this and i did start laughing i thought it's no wonder the little girls that walk by the newsstand and walk by the magazine racks at the checkout of supermarkets they see this crap week after week year after year from the time they're little teeny girls and they start to read words to the time that they graduate high school and they're adults. 
This is not, not about being a woman proper. It's about how to be a conceited, arrogant little and get your way. It's all about them getting their way. It's about them using sex, right? This issue has secrets from beauty, fashion, and fitness influencers. What does that tell you? These women want to be beautiful, fashionable, and fit. Why? To attract you, men. That's what they're after. They want to attract men. Why? Well, if they were serious about love, they'd learn about love instead of how to get kisses, touches, and positions to satisfy their body, get it, girl. If they were concerned about love, they'd get the fucking bubblegum out of their mouth and learn how to give a blowjob proper, followed by the proper sandwich. Right? So this beauty and fashion and fitness has nothing to do with you guys except that you're the dupe and once again my son and I went out to dinner last night and watched the spectacle the spectacle of beauty fashion and fitness on parade soaking up men stealing their money and their time and their efforts I watched women show up with guys and as soon as the guy sat down and she sat down, she turned her head and was flirting with bartenders. I was disgusted. I saw other women that were there, paid no attention to their husband at all, but were busy prancing and parading around like they were Miley Cyrus on the cover of Cosmopolitan. I knew this trip once I got done with the work portion every day here. I knew this trip was going to be a gold mine. A gold mine with huge social value and understanding for me you know and the difference is it's a different place it's a different format than what I normally deal with but it reaffirms I guess I guess now I can say well <laughs> it's not just where I live right I just haven't happened to live in the the three places in the last 30 fucking years where this type of behavior occurs it's pretty much everywhere Anyways, you guys, you've got to see this cover. You've got to see it. And you've got to read it. You've got to think about it. Right? It's, it's, it's shocking. Let me read it again. I just I can't get over the fucking title of this. Sex dot 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 dot. No, dot dot dot. Your way. And your is underlined with the red lipstick. Kisses, touches, and positions to satisfy your body. Get it, girl. And geez, will love last? How will you know? And whoops, I got gum stuck in his junk. Sorry about that. That's hilarious. But it's really about beauty, fashion, and fitness. Right? Cosmo should say MGTOW warning. Right? Just, just take the word Cosmo off there and put MGTOW warning. In fact, I'm going to do that to the fucking thing. Right? Big town warning. This is women. All right, guys, you be cool. Semper Fi. Remember, when you get up in the morning, you look in the mirror, right? you got your coffee, whatever, you say, I'm the man, I'm the prize, I have the penis. These gold digging here, what they're after is your money and your time and their status and sex their way and love whatever they think it is their way. You make your choice. I've made mine. MGTOW is men going their own way. And it's growing. Because men have had it with this type of shit. Alright guys, you be cool. Semper Fi. MGTOW is freedom. <laughs> be cool.